What's going on everybody? Long Gemini here and I have viewer challenge number three completed. This challenge is coming from McBeef34. What I have to do is I can only open up a maximum of five doors with points. Afterlife mode is not counted so I can open up as many doors as I want in afterlife but only five doors with points. I have to survive to wave 25 and a little bit after that uh, McBeef posted a comment that I can only choose two from three perks Deadshot Daiquiri, Electric Cherry, or Double Tap. I'm assuming that means I couldn't get Jug and all that stuff but by the time I tried the challenge I didn't see that comment and I just I'm gonna admit to you now before you even see the gameplay I cheated and I used Jug if that was what that comment meant Mr. McBeef. <laughs> um, I just sorry man I used Jug I was not able to do a lot of things, but I did open up five doors that I thought would get me the most important things, and surviving to wave 25, rounds 1 through 20 were easy. That was easy, but as soon as I got to wave 21, that's when it started getting a little hard, and since I used Jug, I didn't use any other perks, so I only used one perk. Um, that way it kind of leveled it out a little bit, but... I hope that doesn't upset anybody, and I hope that kind of works for the challenge, and I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Okay. I gotta say this is a very good challenge. I actually had to think on what five doors I could open in order to make this as easy as possible. The first door you obviously have to open, so that's door number one. The... Opening up that door gives you access to the first dog, and I figured the best strategy for this was that I could open up five doors, get me the Hell's Retriever, get the Blue Skulls. That was door number two, by the way, opening up the Catwalk, which gave me access to Electric Cherry and the Gondola. Anyway, I could get the Hell's Retriever and the Blue Skulls. That way I could get the Blundergat and make this pretty simple because... As I said before, rounds 1 through 20 went by like a breeze. Those last 5 rounds are really a pain in the ass with not having anything that does a lot of damage. Door number 3 opened up the infirmary and that gave me access to the second dog. And after I go through all the doors, I can open up the roof with afterlife, which doesn't count against my doors according to the challenge. And then I can get the skull that's on the roof. Now once I'm pretty much showing you these in order on how I did them when I started because once I got the second dog fed in the infirmary I came back down here to the gondola and bought that to where I could go get the M8 or whatever it's called the Tommy gun Let's get um, out of here. the two skulls that are down there on the docks feed the last dog and get jug now I don't I don't consider the gondola a door I mean, obviously it's not a door, but it is something you have to purchase, but since you have to constantly purchase it, it's not just one purchase, it's kind of, I don't know, I didn't, I kind of felt like I was cheating using the gondola, but at the same time I didn't, so if you guys want to fight over that in the comment section, you can do that, that's fine with me, um, but like I said, I got the third dog, the M8, and Jug by going down to the docks and that also gave me access to the skulls down there um, just to be an idiot once I show you all the doors I come back and throw my tomahawk at all the spots just to verify um, for those of you who want to dispute over where the skulls are those five doors give me access to all the skulls so sorry <laughs> I know what I'm doing you can't troll me Door number four was down here. That way I could actually get to the Hell's Retriever because that way opening up the dogs or feeding all the dogs didn't, you know, I could feed all the dogs but then I couldn't get to the Retriever so I had to make sure I bought a certain door to where I got it and the door I chose was the one by Warden's Office so that's door number four. That also gave me access to Double Tap but since I only use one perk that doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah. Once all the well, sorry, that was my fourth door. My fifth door is right here by the first dog again. And this door, I know it's kind of weird, but I bought this door in order to get back to where I started. Because if I stayed down where the Hell's Retriever was and bought a door down there, I couldn't get back to the docks. 
couldn't go to the roof. I couldn't go anywhere really without, you know, having, I'd be in a shit place to run trains pretty much. So I bought that door in order to get back to the docks to where I can run my trains down there. I'd buy the gondola back and forth in case I needed to go back to the cell blocks. And pretty much that was my whole strategy. So those are the five doors I chose to buy. And now I'm just being an idiot and showing you that I can just run around and get all the blue skulls. I know in my, going off on a tangent right here, I know in my blue skulls video I tell you that you can get the blue skull by jug going through the gondola. You can, but it is a lot easier to jump right there and I know that so you don't have to remind me and at all. I, I know about that, don't worry. <laughs> Um, but anyway, like I said, those are the five doors I chose to purchase, and those five doors gave me access to the Blundergat, the Hell's Retriever, Jug, Double Tap, Electric Cherry, all three dogs. That was pretty much it. I mean, that was my main strategy with my five doors. Now, the two doors I had to open with Afterlife, I wanted to really open zero doors in Afterlife. But in order to get the last skulls, I had to open up the warden's office in order to, I mean, even get the Blundergat. And I also had to open up the roof to get that last skull up there. Um, a couple of things that I could not get was the shield. I could not get all the pieces with the amount of doors I was allowed to open. Um, so I couldn't use a shield. I couldn't go to the bridge because I can't obviously collect all the plane parts. And... I think that's about it. I think those are the two main things that I could not get while doing this challenge. This is a very good challenge, but I think with my strategy, I think I kind of cheated. But, I mean, I don't really think I went against anybody's, you know, I didn't go against McBeef34's challenge. I did exactly what he said. The only thing I didn't do was I used Jug. And I'm pretty sure that that second comment was what was intended with that. But... You know, I kind of did it. I'm sorry. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that is fine by you guys. And this was a very good challenge. These are the kind of things that I'm looking for when you give me a challenge. I want something very, very specific. I want to know what rounds I can go to. I want to know what perks I can use, what I'm doing in the challenge. A lot of you guys want to want to see me do these things without Jug. And that's fine, but you have to give me something else if I can't have Jug. I need to be able to pack a punch. I need to have a gun that actually works. Without Jug and without a weapon, that's not even fun. I'm not even going to try that. That's That makes me frustrated, very, very angry. And I want to have a good time when I'm doing this. I mean, this is for fun, and I'm, I hope that you guys understand that when you give me these challenges. I do want them to be challenging, but without anything, that's almost impossible. So, you know, make it a reasonable challenge, but interesting. That's all I'm asking for. Anyway, I'm going to show you the last couple rounds on getting to round 25, just to show you that this is legitimate gameplay and I didn't sh cheat or anything. As always, I don't troll or anything like that. My gameplays are real. I would post the entire thing, but that's like an hour and a half of footage, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to sit there for an hour and a half. Um, and I'm showing you the more interesting parts. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope that you guys continue pushing through with these challenges and giving me fun things to do. And I want to thank McB34 for giving me this challenge. It was very interesting and I enjoyed it. Um, and that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoy. And as always, it's been Lone Gemini. And until next time. Something's coming. Something big. If I go down, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna want you to death. Man, what is he like, the fucking boss of the dead or something? Just try it! I want it! 
do next.
down, I'll give you a fucking throwdown. in my ticket not today Snapped in half! 
you fucks. See what I do next. Oh. Fucking throw down! <laughs> 